thanks for your time here on the white carpet my name is Gladys Osei Oredu let's quickly take a look at some stories that made headlines during the week in the showbiz industry so um tiny says you can call it bluff or brack well he is the best rapper so far in the country so uh well you can go and bend the sea he says he is the rapper he's yet to come to terms with another one who he can say ha is up to size otherwise there is no size in terms of rapping for tiny and of course uh we have a young christian who has also been encouraging the youth to um, especially women to also you know uh propose marriage to men he says otherwise whenever fuel or uh, there's there's increment in all other things uh, it also affects proposal rate uh, if you want to find out what proposal rate is stay tuned right here on the white carpet we'll be telling you about proposal rate and how increment affects that one so um as usual by kind courtesy of airtel the white carpet comes your way stay with us <laughs> Voices that I have in my head And if it's you talking to me Then I'm happy instead Yeah, we miss you brother We see it every day And I promise to keep your legacy in every way Started from joy FM taught me a lot of lessons Now I know that every disappointment becomes a blessing Somebody is born, somebody is gone That's how it is, better or worse Life goes on I mean it hurts to hear that the body is really dead Yeah, but the spirit is not here He's out there He's going up to the most high, so please don't cry. It's better on the side. tribute song for our late brother Komla Dumo who was today laid to rest in a private burial. Uh, at his funeral there was one thing that was obvious and that was the um, the traditional dances the renowned and of course we had a renowned separate player or say country who eulogized uh, the late broadcaster through praise songs with a string instrument. I'd like to share an accept of that with you right here on the white carpet. Okay. 
Well, so um, that was the traditional separate eulogizing our late Conrad Dumo. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Right, so you're still here on the white carpet. I always would love to share this with you. Um, Airtel just made life very simple and easy. Um, you know what exactly I mean. Last week, I gave you those free credits to be able to, you know, try out and give me feedback. Uh, none of you gave me the feedback. Of course, when it didn't work for some of you, you were quick to tell me it wasn't working for you. But, um, you know, uh, just go to your phone, um, the send Airtel money menu, and then you select... Of course, you should have, make sure you have some money, good cash, in your Etel pocket, and so um, in, in your Etel wallet. So go to your Etel money menu, and then you select the amount you want to send. Uh, send choose the recipient number, and then just press send, and the person has it. And so um, I always say, use me, try try with me. So um, my number is zero two six seven eight four four zero two four. 0267-844-024. Just try that one now and I'll give you immediate feedback right here on the white carpet. But today we're taking a good look at love and love issues. Well, so but before we go, we even go, we're still in the month of love. So um, we can be talking love and, you know, reshaping and popping up your love issues is very important, of course. So um, let's quickly take a look at this gentleman who uh, has been giving us a bit of a um, love economic analysis. And uh, he, he actually, uh, what I actually mean by that, he says that in the light of the challenges in the economy, uh, he is urging women to be a lot bolder and propose marriage to men. How he, this, uh, well, this is how he actually analyzes the accounts he's talking about. I'm doing my youth, I'm a youth in me, man, particularly, he said, even ya sorry more, a man sorry, I'm say, ya no more yum. Aha, Nina, and say, any time a fuel price be increased in Ghana now, which are it affect we guys our proposal rate and my proposal rate in a co high. Aha, and like advice I'm be my new animal man who say, ah, who be man who need you know, ah, for cotton and him coca. Aha, who coca mean you say. If you are sorry, so for be a boy, I say, baby, I'm on board with saying, aha, send Obi my car, I'm a warrior, then, no, so I soon I'll buy so car, I be my a warrior, so I de, send a boy, I do so I na unko, unko, I'm my unko, brave, brave, aha. Na proposal rate na si chese. Aha, proposal rate ni chese, uku si Oba pe, aha, where so na Obi kano, aha, ene ko ha ino, si wohu. Ebia na me be pewa me kan chere o se o oba me ni je ho ana se se ebia o ha ye me fe o ha ye me fe da bi enu no fuel price increase pe na che se se me increase me ma wes no so ko nanim 
a high increase and a fatty and man be brave. And Tina, yeah, sorry, move ya noon to me more. You may yes, ah, so aha, ah, costro, and tea, and Tina, you two more bony, I know them will be a fatty be a fatty proposal written us. Aha, and to advise, I made my in your moon, me, ma, and ma, particular, I was sorry, mu. When you be my bewa, cock and treno. I saw a soft will be a moon saying, aha. Na Emma Adiswano Emras Kakrama Mimano and Tia Futu Amidima ya asoru Emma. So um that is proposal rates going high. That is why when fuel prices go up, everybody is talking. But really it is possible to have a relationship and a marriage without constant confusion, regrets and headaches. And so if you take that young man's advice, of course, if you increase the men boosts your proposal rate and you won't have any of those confusion in marriage or relationship and so uh i have been joined in the studio by this man who is uh, vexed well vexed when it comes to love issues and by his name you would understand what i mean he is in the person of dr love and dr love is going to help us understand proposal rate and all the related issues thank nice you the high five thank you yeah they're looking great though. Ah, thank you. Dr. Love, proposal yeah. rate. Um, the guy says whenever fuel prices go up, the proposal rate increases. So when they increase fuel, he can't come and tell the woman that I, I love you this or I love you that. He has to also boost it up. I think he has <laughs> a little problem. <laughs> it's out of rhythm with what is going on in society. Mm. The, um, when, when things, when prices go up, there's tension everywhere. Mm. You know, that's, and, and the tension hits home first. Sure. You know, so. Uh, most the least important thing about this relationship, they want to put their bills together, pay bills, and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. So you you don't uh, so you don't agree with proposal rates? No, I don't. Uh oh, I sure. Mm -mm. Hey, you see this beautiful chick? You want to go and try your luck with the person? You you yourself you have ten. Uh, you, you don't you don't you don't. You don't I think that's basically what he's trying to talk about. That you've as a man, you've got to also have something to uh, you know be able to talk to a woman confidently. Otherwise, he's pleading with the women actually to also, you know, women, women say it. Oh, no so the women should also try and help out. <laughs> when a woman chases a man, mm. the woman loses value. Tell me about that. Because men are hunters and men are, are designed to, ch to chase. Mm. So when a woman starts chasing a man, uh, her value drops. I see. Yeah, the woman must set a man up and the woman must start running. Mm. When, a, when a man chases a, a deer, a, ma a woman that is standing, she sees that as a cheap product. Mm. She wants he wants to feel like he has, he has chased you and he's a, But he's you see, in the case where um, you're a young woman, you've spotted this guy, um, he's cute. And, you uh, set him up. How? You, 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 you find out what he likes and set him up. How do you find that one even out? Because Get close to him, become friends. Mm. When friendship becomes a foundation for the good relationship, it becomes a very strong relationship. Mm. Yeah, so you find what he likes, you know, and then you ask questions. And then you set him up, you find the things he likes. And if he likes the way you dress, you know, you dress better. Mm. If he likes your legs, you work your legs. Mm. If he likes your hair, he works your hair. I see. You yeah. know, so you can work something, you can set, like, like the way a wife can set her husband up, mm. you know. You should be working in the room in the, her handies and stuff like that. Mm. She knows what the husband likes. She knows how to decode that man. Mm -hmm. So you find out what he likes and decode him. I see. And he'll start chasing you. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> so you have not said anything, but he's chasing you. Yeah. He always the hot time. Yeah. It's yeah. like electrocution. That That's way. right. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I see. So. <laughs> but, no, but you see, um, some men just can't talk. Yeah. No matter what a woman does, yeah. they just, they have POP mm. on their mouths. Mm. They just cannot say it. In that situation, and uh, I, I have a, a typical example here. Today, I'll spare him. Mm. Uh, I won't mention his name, okay. but okay. I'm asking this to favor him. Okay. David, oh, I just mentioned the name. I didn't want to. Well, POP, you see, he just can't say mm. it unless he says it and I don't know. But how would such men break through? Men, men talk in signs and symbols, you know. Mm, tell us men, about it. Men talk in signs and symbols. Some, some men are not able to talk because our society, men are not, they are trained to be romantic. Mm -hmm. You know, so he'll be, he'll be giving you a little more attention. You know, he's been more caring. You know, he kept opening his mouth by all the signs that he's doing. He's checking on you and everything. Mm -hmm. It's a sign that he likes you. Um, but he still hasn't said it. It's a sign. So how do the I, the woman... The body language. So how, no, but how do I do it? I just 
you just catch him and kiss him to just break through. How do I do it? I mean, uh, his eyes say a lot. His body says a lot. His body language is, is saying a lot. So you start a conversation on that line. Yeah. So him. if you see that he's not able to open his mouth and his body language is saying a whole lot of things, well then you you help him and you bring him in. How? You know, hey, do you like me? You know, do you, do you and even that one, that that's a difficult question to answer. His mouth is so tight. Now when it comes to proposing, I think he needs to come and see me privately. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, that's what the guy was trying to drum mm. home proposal rate. Mm. I mean, he, he, they just can't say it. And you know, Sikama Maoye yeah. Bema, when you have money, you yeah, feel, you like, you a feel man. like a man. Yeah. Sure. So if you don't have the money, of course, you can't blow your horn. That's right. Paying more. That's right. But so, <laughs> sometimes you don't even need the money. You need it. You have, if you have a good mouth, you don't even need the money. Mm. If you have a good mouth, the woman will start giving you the money. <laughs> 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 so if you're able to work what you got, mm. you know, mm, most most men that are very good talking don't have money. Mm. Yeah, the woman, the woman take care of them. Oh really? Oh yeah. Ah, I see. Yeah. So uh, if you spend it now today, you know the trick, huh? He's yeah. talking. Just look for vibes and start vibing him to also That's spend. right. That's right. <laughs> You know, I see. Find out her, uh, her love language and and feed it, feed her love time, yeah. and then she will start. She will start taking care of you mm. because what women feel words when you tell a woman something, she feels it, and when you she like what you are telling her, she start feeling it, and she start getting close, she start getting closer to you, mm. and then you start taking care. Of you. But you see, I'm also trying to find out. Um, we have quite a, a number of love and um, in relationships, mm. seminars, forums, mm. and all that mm. uh, coming up. How is it really helping? Because we we still seem to have a lot of marriage um, troubles. Sure, we mm. seem to have a lot of marriage troubles. The, 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 some of the main causes of marriage troubles in Africa are not being dealt with. When you marry somebody, you marry history, mm. you marry background, you marry uh, um, his uh, experiences, you marry sex experiences, you marry normals. What is what is normal to you may be no different for me. You marry demonic records. I that, see. That's the main cause of divorce. Main cause. Main cause of divorce I see. And, and, and the love language, main cause, like name dedication. There are families that you go into the family, the women can't get husbands. <laughs> the beautiful women, they can't stay with, with a man. Mm. It's, it's a pattern in the, in the family. Those things are not dealt with with love. I see. They are dealt with, with prayer. Mm. There are families that name, the name on the family is, 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 has been dedicated to strong, strong demonic stuff. You gotta, you gotta be dealt with. And there are families that uh, they are, they are serious witchcraft, mm. you know. Uh, has sold the men in the family. Nobody's able to get married. So as you are dating, that is the time to check the patterns in the bloodline. Sure. When you go to every family, some of these men, some, some men are very unfaithful. Mm. No matter how much they love you, they are still going to be unfaithful. Why? You check the bloodline, grandfather, uncles, father, mm. they are, the, the polygamy is in the family. Like father, like father, like father, like father, like, father, like, father. Like, so like son, and all. No matter yeah. how good he is, if he doesn't sit up, he will repeat the same cycle. Mm. He loves you, right? Yeah. But it's in a bloodline. And it's, you know, and some abusive. All these things, if they're not dealt with, not just by I love you, I love you, mm. but it must be dealt with spiritually. Mm. Otherwise, you, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you off guard. So, um, as a love preacher, mm. what has been your contribution so far to our love um, lives in, in, in Ghana, in, in the society? In, in, if you if want if if to enjoy the best of relationship or best of marriage, mm. you need both the spiritual. You need a man that is spiritual mm. and a man that is balanced, both spiritual and physical. Mm. You understand? He understands the practical part of love and he understands the spiritual part. If he's only about the romantic part and when he comes under attack, he can't handle you. Okay. Because anybody that is coming to your life, he's coming with excess baggage. Sure. There are some that have baggages following them and you have your own baggage following you. So when you come together, two baggages come together. So, and some of the baggages must be dealt with through prayer and fasting. And some through compromise, through love, through attention, through affection. Mm. So if it's only about the affection and the love and the flowers and the chocolates and the clothes and the stuff like that, mm. you'll be taking off the guy. But in these days, the men don't even buy flowers. They, they don't. They buy the chocolates. By the time they get home, they've eaten it in the car already. That's true. Mm. Or they give to a lady and they take, they take it from the lady <laughs> and, they eat it, and they eat it. <laughs> you see? <laughs> they find a way to yeah, go. But yeah. I was trying to find out from you as a love preacher, yeah. what has been your personal contribution so far? Do you um, organize seminars for uh, anything to yes. um, also play a role That's as what a we love are, preacher? We are, we, are, we are holding this program at the National Theatre. You have once, a program at National, National Theatre? Oh, okay. Once every month. I see. Uh, next week, um, Thursday, 27th of February. 
Mm. We have one seven man. It's free for all. I see. Everybody, singles and couples, they come together. We are, we are, we are talking about the hindrances to great marriage, mm. the hindrances to great relationship. What are the hindrances to great relationship? How are men wired? How are women wired? You know, love is not enough to get married. I know. Love is about 5%. Mm. You need knowledge. Okay. Knowledge. Knowledge is the key to great marriage. Sure. You know, so that's what we are doing that uh, on, on Thursday, 27th of, um, of February. February. We teach about it and then we take them through intense prayer. Are you doing that in the evening or afternoon or it's, it's going to be in the evening, 4, okay. 4, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, that must be convenient. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. And those are open, the small seats. You come, just, you know, I'm going to be teaching. I'm going to be, pre uh, you know, I'm going. it's going to be fun. Mm, and then we're going to be imagine. praying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we've been doing it. This is the third time. Okay. You know? But um, love is just 5% of every marriage. Mm. Um, I agree. But um, if, if you tell me knowledge... You can know, but sometimes just ignore it, though. Yeah, it is knowledge applied. Um, okay, so in other words, it can also be commitment. Yes, commitment. If the person doesn't know it, you can't commit because women sp spell love differently, men spell love differently. How do women spell love? M women talk in circles, men talk straight. <laughs> women like uh, um, affection, men like Fair, sex. You know, fairy stars. Yeah. yeah. When a man, sex erases problem for a man, women problems erases sex for a man. You understand? <laughs> yeah. So if you don't uh, know these things and you, you think that you may, you're angry with your spouse and you want to make love to her, it's going to raise a problem, it's, it's still there. With a the woman, you say, no, no, don't touch me, don't touch me. Mm. A man, you understand? So all yeah. these things are there. Men, when men think internally, women think externally. Mm. A woman is thinking and she's talking about it. A man is thinking, you tell a man something, he's quiet. He has heard you, but he's listening. Mm. You understand? So if you don't know these things, he becomes the worst nightmare in your life because you know you don't understand how men are white and how women are white. But you see, sometimes the men also don't seem to get the women actually. Um, so in the same way, you think that a woman might not understand a man, so um, she feels there's too much trouble. The same way, the man also uh, some, uh, perhaps some don't even see that uh, my my woman is not giving in because she might have a problem. That's why it's always good to get information though. Mm. Because if you get information, if you get the right books, you get information, uh, understand the love language, women, uh, they are uh, receiving of gifts, touching, uh, affection, all of the, If you get the right information, and when a woman starts acting emotional, she, she's wired to, mm. to, to act emotional. Men are logical beings. Women are emotional beings. So you got to understand. When I understood these two principles, my wife, my marriage became, I'm, I have a best marriage. I no see. troubles, no confusion, mm. nothing. Mm. Are you sure? Nothing, nothing. How? We don't, we don't fight. We used to fight a lot. No, but you see, love without fights is, is not fun. Well, we, <laughs> well, when, I, when, when, I, when I get angry, she will be laughing. Mm. When she gets angry, I, you know, I, but we've, we've matured beyond mm. jumping on the throat and, and uh, no, no, no. I see. Yeah, because I know how she's wired. Mm. So I feed her on what she's wired and I she see. takes care of me. She's reading books about men and she's taking care of me. That men like encouragement, men like praises, men like sex. You mm. take care of me, I take care of you. I see. How often do you have sex? Oh, sex. I love sex. In a sex. day? Oh, in a good day, I can have sex. I know. How, how often? How many rounds do you, do you go? Me? Mm. <laughs> you want to try? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, we have been talking to Dr. Lab, who has been sharing with us a few tips about how to maintain, sustain, refresh, and, and you know, hold strong together your love issues, your love relationship, in marriage, in a relationship, and all that. I mean, um, in a month of love, what else could you talk about apart from love? Well, so we have... Dr. Love doing us that honor. Mm. Well, so, uh, Dr. Love, we are so grateful. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I hope to make that time Please, 4 to uh, 9 p.m. Yeah, I'll be so glad to see you. At the National Theater. 4 to, 4 to 9 p.m. National Theater. Mm. 27th. Don't miss 27th, it. 27th, yes. I, I'll, I'll do well to come, go and, you know, refresh. This, this refresh, of course, for some of us. Uh, for those of you who are now, uh, some are doing remedials and some are just refreshing. And and some, some are filled over and over and over. You see, uh, double anointing. <laughs> so uh, do make a date. Uh, in a moment, I'll be joined right here by my critic, your favorite critic, Bertrand Nana Texan. Don't go away. My advice, I'm doing my youth. I'm a youth in me, man, particularly, say, if you are sorry, I'm a man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm no more, I'm Nina and they say any time a fuel price be increased in Ghana now, which are it affects we guys our proposal rate and my proposal rate in a co high. 
Aha, and she like um, advice. I'm be my new and man who say, Ah, who be man who need you know, ah, faculty name coca. Aha, who coca mean you say, if you are sorry, so for be a boy, I say, baby, I'm on bow and say, Aha, send obey my car and my way there. No, so I soon I'll basso car. I be my our reside there. Send a bear, do so an uncle. Uncle, I'm my uncle, Brebe Bre. Aha. Na proposal rate na CHS. Aha, proposal rate ni CHS, Uko Si Obape. Aha. West na Obe Kano. Aha. Enne Koha, you know. Si Wohu. Ebia, na me be pewa, me kanchere u se u. Oba, me nije u hu. Ana se se, ebia, ohaya me fe, ohaya me fe. Da ebi, enu no, fuwe price increase, pe na CHS, se mi increase, mi ma West no su ko ne nim. Aha, increase. And I felt him be man be brave. And to me, I saw him. I know him to me more. You may not see him. Aha. Ah, costro. And to and to now, you two more be one. I know them. Obia, I felt him be bia. I felt him propose that rate. Nasu. Aha. And to advise, I'm the man. I'm the man. Me ma ma particular. I was saw him. When he job be man be one. Co can't try no. I saw him so for be a more one say. Aha. Na Emma Adiswano Emras Kakrama Mimano. And to a foot on Medima ya asoru Emma. Hi, I'm Don Moen, and you're watching the white carpet. Keep it right here and remember, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. <laughs> Exactly a week today, Uncle Lebo White is starting his first quarter of play for the year 2014, Make Me a Woman. Tonight, I have free tickets for three of you out there. So um, for the first three WhatsApp messages, you are going to be entitled to those three tickets to go and have a sneak, pre uh, a sneak uh, what, how do you call it, sneak what? Preview. A sneak preview. Yes. Are you sure? Previews mm. before. Uh, okay, so you would have a special <laughs> preview of Make Me a Woman tonight at the National Theatre on Thursday, even before any other person would see it. So I have the tickets with me here. So make sure you are the first to grab yours for Thursday evening to go and see it, even before anybody else would see. Right. So Nana Texan have. T um, Hey, today, my brother, they, they come you from. You didn't eat an apple. No, I didn't eat an apple. I never drank any coffee, no tea. Well, so and the no food you had, you shared it with somebody who. Imagine, no. <laughs> <laughs> but congratulations, Nana. Oh, congrats. Oh, that was congrats. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't congrats. expecting that. Yeah. Don't worry. I, I mean, know, you're I good know, at that know. yourself. So Don't behave yourself. Yeah. So. You're congrats. Dr. Love and all in the yeah. love mood. So, um, last week, when I spoke about health, uh, Nana has a complete now, so uh, Nana has been blessed with a baby girl, a the, love baby in the, February. The doctor, uh, yeah. doctor Love was right. <laughs> Women speak in circles, you know, you're speaking in circles. They, 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 they don't get to Congratulations, congratulations. Well, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Imagine. Oh my God. Yeah. You put me on the spot, aren't you? <laughs> but what day was she born? Tiny. How old is she? If we are. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, that's yeah. my namesake. Yeah, if we beautiful. Tiny, you I love that girl. If we are welcome. About nothing. Love you. Right, Manang. Yes, madam. Um, it's been quite a week. Cut start on Friday. Um, we had to, you know, go back into mourning. Yeah. Seriously, uh, we, uh, by God's grace, he's been laid to rest. True. And I, I believe that God has received his gentle soul and kept it, cushioned it, um, the soul at a very comfortable place. That's very um, true. Yeah, it's painful, but. Um, I believe in celebrating the legacy he left behind. So I, I don't want to switch into that mode anymore. But I want to sad, sad talk mood. about Homla with smiles. Yeah. Yes, because um, what I saw today, really, I, uh, for uh, somebody who you think is ordinary, mm. a simple broadcaster. You see him every day, you work with him, and then... And he, he, he's down, and there's, there's such a state burial. I mean, it was... It was, you, you wish he wasn't the one lying there. But and watching what and people watching. were celebrating about exactly. him. Exactly. Yeah. It, it puts some joy in my heart that if you live a good life, 
you, you, you worth celebrating. And so that's just what Indeed. I want to do now. Indeed. I don't know if that's what you also want. I, I concur with you. I mean, 100%. Mm -hmm. And I like the description you give to him, you know, his gentle soul. Yeah. A lot of people saw him as um, overconfident, mm -hmm. a bit brash, sometimes a perfectionist, yeah. you know. Well, it's a gun, how come bro, a craft man? Yeah, yeah. That's why he tuned in this time. Thank God I don't speak Brafo. <laughs> I don't want anybody branding me to yeah. know, you know. But um, yeah, you, you have a point. Um, that's excellent. Somebody who yeah. strives to be excellent. Like yeah. our boss, your boss, Kwesi Chum. KT. You know, yeah. KT himself. Yeah. I saw him there today in his usual uh, composed demeanor. Yeah. You know, and that's another person who... Uh, is, is a perfectionist. I mean, look at a young fella building this industry. Same, Komla 41, look at what he yeah. did. It, it tells you you're never too young. Sure, and the, in, in the eulogy, um, Crunchy, yeah. um, used a separate to um, do. Tu, 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 tu. I remember a portion where he talks about uh, you are just 41. Akala, we do 41. You're only 41 yeah. years. But you have achieved what a 90-year-old cannot even achieve. Precisely so. Yeah. I mean, look carefully at some of the greatest people we've ever met or sure. we've come across. J.J. Mm. Rawlings, yeah. president at what, age 33? Yeah. Jesus Christ sure. was in charge of the world for just three years at age 30 to 33. Yeah. Mm. Martin Luther King, mm. name them. Sure. Uh, Nelson Mandela, mm. in his early 30s, went mm. to jail, you know. Yeah. So sometimes we don't have to wait too much and say, oh, tomorrow I will. You can start now, irrespective of your age. Precisely so. Bringing it to business, look at Bill Gates. The f uh, he was a billionaire at the age of 21. Yeah. Look at Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. All these are young achievers, you yeah. know. So Kamala's life, I'm sure, was just an example with yeah. some of the people who were walking around carrying the honor and the badge of respect for him. Yeah. Because he achieved so much, you yeah. know. I'm sure wherever he, he is, he himself is being overwhelmed. Indeed. I, I, I'm sure. Indeed. Don't you just wish we could all know where we would go when we die? So at least we could have a peek of you see, you. how people can see the you fake see. ones and the real ones. Because there are a lot of people who are crying hey. and you know it's not real. As you and I, we see to yourself, between you and I, I'm not sure. <laughs> that, um... <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> you know, I'm a, yeah. I'm a straight shooter, you know. Yeah. I mean, if I don't, I, I will say. I know, but, yeah, yeah, you're a straight shooter, yeah. Don't behave yourself. <laughs> Dr. Love is not here. I'm not Dr. Love. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, yes, um, it was quite sad watching him go finally. And yeah. they remind you so much. You've lost a great person, too. You lost a loved one. And, you know, yeah. so in such moments, I'm sure you had the memory. Exactly. It, it was so surreal. You know, yeah. you could see, ah, I've been through this before. Mm. Same thing. Yeah. I think his father and his, um, his sister and the, and the wife were going yeah. through. Sad, sad day. Yeah. yeah. But, well, we, we rejoice in the fact that we believe Komla by now is resting with the Lord. And he's well celebrated. Indeed. We'll continue to maintain, keep that memory. The legacy. Yeah. The we'll legacy. Keep that le um, legacy. We'll keep the memory and celebrate him all That's through. That's true. And but maybe make a promise to him we'll work harder sure. just to, you as, know, as for, for me as a young journalist, uh, he really has inspired a lot. Indeed. And I want to just keep him at the back of my mind and keep moving. Inspire you on. Sure. All the hard work is worth yeah. it, right? Yeah. yeah. Today you're watching and his hard work has been worth it. So mm. why not pursue hard why work? Why not? Sure. Why not? It won't kill you, I no, think. No, even you know, if it kills you, you would have left a good legacy. At least you left a legacy. legacy. Sure. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. I well. agree with you. Okay, so moving on. Yeah. Um, I'd like us to listen to um, Tiny, uh, a few raps from him, and also you be also be the dad. Uh, tell me if he's the best rap, as he says. According to the rapper, ever since he released Anaconda three years ago, he has been silent and wondering if there was a better rapper than him. But he has come to realize there is no size. To prove he is the best, 
Chinese asking for rappers who think they are better than him to come forward and do battle with him to determine who is the best. Wondering what makes Tiny feel this way? Well, he in his latest single, Com, has described his fellow rappers as non-entities and surprisingly, he says, a lot of rappers sound like him. But he insists that he is the original and is always on top of his game. Nobody can says he knows his statement is going to get his colleagues take him on but he's not afraid because he believes he is telling the truth and they know but cannot stand the truth the father of four says Ghanaians and his fans should watch out for a concert he's planning in a couple of months white carpet i am told today we have a big challenge with our network so it doesn't look like your whatsapp messages are coming through um well i pray and hope that this uh works out right so that i can give you because i am eager to serve you uncle was taken so you go and you know i also want to enjoy part of that uh, credit that yeah i got the white uh, carpet giving me the you know um, tickets to go and see it. Then you talk about it with us right here on the white carpet. But Tiny says he is yet to see any size, no size when it comes to raps really? in Ghana. You know, it's it's okay to to blow your horn, especially in the music business, especially again in the hip hop or rap games. You know, uh, because it's all about self-aggrandizement, kind of. It's <laughs> it's an intimidation kind of thing. You know, mm. so you get the rappers Jay Z telling Fifty Cent I'm better than you, Notorious B.I.G. telling Tupac I'm better than you, Tupac doing same. You know, so it's not new. It's not news. You know, for him to claim that kind of superiority, but yeah. um. Another maybe small caution there. Sometimes when you're in your house lifting weights, yeah. you know, checking your muscles, ah, you think you're the local champion. You know, <laughs> I think he also has a song called Local Champion, you know. Um, until you go out and see, wow, people are really more muscular than you are. They're all muscles and all, you know. So I think he should just, you know, just... Um, Take it easy, hang in there, and then let the people be the judge. However, I must also confess that, hey, for him, I don't think uh, he's that bad, mm. you know. some He's got some swag and style. Yeah, he has, and uh, but now the other great mm. acts, you know what I mean? And Is he trying to say, um, Saka, you know, the sea top? Or bruv for no come close? <laughs> Exactly my point, and you know, and your sound man who just left us <laughs> technically is an Obrafo man, you know, that's Marco Fori for you. And I'm sure Marco is just sitting uh, down thinking to himself, you see, that what is this guy talking what about? But you know, talking, talking about Mark, ever yes. since Mark done some um, shade, is it shade spectacles? People see Mark and they just can't pass without commenting on that. Have you seen it? I've seen his goggles, man. Uh. <laughs> He, he looks he looks like Malcolm X, you yeah. know. <laughs> you know, with a shiny bald head, you know, Dr. Mark I call him. He's so well. <laughs> you know, like and he's an Obrafo guy, you yeah. know. So and he I think Obrafo has been endorsed by Sakodie, Guru, and then um who else? Reggie Rockstone. Three people sure. who say Obrafo is the best rapper, best yeah. lyricist in the country. And coming from these people, you know, I think that is really cool. So for Tiny to come up like this, I reckon maybe it's because he's out of the scene for a while, you know, and then maybe cutting some attention. Perhaps this is a nice way of, after all, you're doing prime time on him. Why mm. not? You okay. know, if he had not said that, you probably wouldn't have played a song from him or, or well, so. But so. You see, my issue here is that he could be the best rap, but what has taken him so long to um, grab the market? That's a big deal or a big question. Mm. You know, he had um, 
his career kind of curtailed briefly by an endorsement deal he went into. I don't, I don't agree it, that it was curtailed because he had colleagues who equally went through the same um, agreement he went into and they made good use of it. So and They made good use of the money, mm. but a few of them you remember also were a bit underground, you know, they yeah, weren't coming but you up see, to... Yeah, but that's why I don't want you to use curtail because okay. if you use curtail, it's as if somebody you know, um, okay, contributed deliberately to that. contributed sure, to do that. I, so should we say it went a bit on a hiatus, perhaps? Probably. Probably, yeah. you know, because of the thing he did. Because mm. remember, that particular network that signed him wasn't playing shows. Mm. That's how come they came up with this uh, bounce and slide or something, yeah. you know, the recent mm. one they did at the stadium for mm. free. Yeah. Because they realized they were not really utilizing the stars, the, the galaxy of stars they signed on. They weren't the utilizing yeah. them, you know? which is not good for their career. Yeah. And the people who didn't do that, you see, they were able to freely make that same money which these people got signed exactly. on. So that kind of, but to answer But you see, your it question, was an opportunity for them to also give them, make the shows for that particular network. So um, couldn't Tiny have come up with a concert with Tiny or something and the particular network would be the sponsor I agree it. with you. Sure. That's a very good point because mm. Ochiame Kwame does that. If you look around the billboards in the country, most you see Ochiame Kwame. With a particular network. Of course, it's promoting exactly. himself. Yeah. He's not waiting for them to call him and say there's a show. No, he's actually in your he face is, with he that. He's taking initiative to brand and sell himself. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very good point. So I reckon perhaps um, Tiny could have done same like you're saying. You know, unfortunately, he couldn't do that. And uh, he's coming around now mm. making all these noises. All right, so... Yeah. Um, it, I am actually told that it is the WhatsApp system, the server, that is actually down. So it's uh, practically all over. Um, on my personal cell phone, I'm actually not receiving uh, my WhatsApp messages. So it's a general problem. So um, because I really want to, I really, really want to give you this ticket, let me quickly um, announce it's on your screen already. Just um, do the, a quick call in and let's um, see who gets the uh, ticket. So um, the, I'll just mention it for you, 0302. 211-691 or you could make it 692. So quickly, give me a call and let me um, give you that ticket right now. The first uh, three guests to go away with that ticket. Quickly, do that. Right, Nana, sorry for yeah. catching you. Amazing, you can see that far from the screen. <laughs> I need help. That's a, that's a blessing too. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The yeah. other day you were reading the scratch card. I was like, yeah. really? I was sitting close to the TV. I couldn't see it. <laughs> Interesting. I need help. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So on the issue of Tiny, I'm, I'm thinking one, he's courting attention. Mm. I'm taking, I, I don't want to like take anything. Like he's seeking attention madly. <laughs> indeed. You know, yeah. <laughs> indeed. You know, just to stay relevant. I'm yeah. not taking anything away from Tiny. I think sure. he's a good rapper. He is good. He's got style. He's got swag. But I think he's asking for something. He's, the, he's biting too. I, I big. think so. Mm. I think so. I think he's courting attention. I yeah. think so. Yeah. He should just come back, bounce back, and we'll receive you. But don't start that way. Yes. Thank uh, you. All right. So, um, I, I ah. have Quentin who has joined us via telephone. Hello, Quentin. Good evening, Quentin. Thanks for joining us on the white carpet. Yes, um, Cranton, just let me do this with you. Um, what's the title of Uncle Abel's play that you're hoping to get a ticket to go and watch? Hello, Cranton. Ah, is it that Cranton could not answer my question? Well, Seto is on the line with us. Hello, Seto. You are calling from a shaman. Welcome to the white carpet. Thank you very much. Um, quickly, tell me, um, What's the title of the play you hoping to get a ticket to go and watch? Make me a woman. Ah, that's nice. Let me clap for you. <laughs> uh, so, Seto, you just won yourself a free ticket to go and watch Make Me a Woman tonight by Uncle Evo White at the National Theatre on Thursday evening. So, um, do pass by on Monday anytime, but make sure you come with an identification. And uh, when you come, go to the um, reception and pick up your ticket, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Seto. Um, do we have another person on the line? Let me quickly um, talk to that one and see um, who, are, who is getting the second ticket after Seto. Uh, okay, so keep your calls coming through. Uh, you should get that ticket too. Well, 
Yes, and on the issue of Tonto DK, I'm happy you brought that up. I know you're not going you to love tease. Tonto. <laughs> you love Tonto, so I couldn't have, you know, just gone. That 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 is not entirely true, uh, you know. Okay, I mean. well, then no, no, let me hold sure, you sure, again. Sure, um, sure. We have a caller from Asasawa. Hi. Hello, Dixon. Hello. Thanks for joining Hello. us, Dixon, all the way from Asasawa. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, again. Beautiful. Thanks for joining yes. us all the way from Asasawa. How is the place? Are you chilling out tonight? Oh, well, I'm at home with my company. Wow, oh, that's nice. And oh, so uh, you see, that's so unfair. I'm going to give you just one ticket, but it's okay. I mean, you can just um, supplement the other one. I am going to be giving you a ticket, but what's the title of the play you are going to see? Uh, Great. Uh, it's, it's by who? I'm going to go wide. Oh, you, you made it too. So um, all the way from Asasawa, please pass by multi-TV reception with an identification card and pick up your uh, ticket. What's your name again, please, from Asasawa? Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm Dixon. 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 Okay. So um, Dixon, please pass by any time from Monday, but make that before Thursday. So, so, so this play is on Thursday at 7 p.m. 6 p.m. actually, so um, you have up to Thursday afternoon to do the picking. Where, where, where do I come? Multi TV reception. Come to Multi TV. Multi TV is at Kokomlimli. So do make your way to Multi TV in Kokomlimli and pick up your ticket at our reception. With your, come with your identification, please. Um, all right, so um, Prince from Adenta, thank you for joining us, Prince. Yeah, the, the title of the <laughs> <laughs> I like that phrase. He doesn't waste victory. time. No, but no, you no. See, uh, the, you see, the men have booked their way through. Wow. I know who one was. Well, but, but, so, but, but, um, but do you know something? No, tell me, Prince. I, I like the last contribution. I've always been watching Anna, the way he contributes towards the discussion. Oh, thank I like you. It. I like it very well. And I admire it a lot. Say it to him. Oh, no, says he's shy, so you can't say thank you to you. But please, um, please do pass by before Thursday to pick up your free ticket to go and see Make Me a Woman tonight by Ankle White at the National Theatre. Please remember to come along with your identification card and come to Multi TV at Kukum Um Come just walk to our reception and pick it up. Okay. Right. Thank you for contributing. So I have my three callers already. So the tickets are three. Uh, so the tickets are finished. Oh. Okay, it's finished. One last bonus. Oh, uh, no, there's no bonus. <laughs> <laughs> there are just three. <laughs> yes, let's yes, reserve three. some for another day. Sure, yeah. I can hear the phone ringing. <laughs> Probably some, some, you know, uh, my people are so, they'll yes. think that I'm lying. Yes. The tickets are the here. Phone is ringing. The phone uh, is ringing. Three, one, two, three. <laughs> oh. It's finished. So stop calling now, please. One for standby, think... just in case they don't come. Okay. They will come. <laughs> Uh, so our conversation continues. But sure. uh, you, you, you want to talk Uncle about your love, Oh, why you always, you know, you just had somebody say they like my contribution sometimes is sensible, sometimes is not, you know, so don't <laughs> let me go to the unsensible part, you know. With, 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 <clears throat> with Tonto DK, I don't know. She's one of those people who likes to behave like Yvonne Nelson, President Rawlings, you know, yeah. when they're not in the news, <laughs> they're itching, they're getting diarrhea, you know, they yeah. want to be spoken and talked about, you know. <laughs> and then recently we had Tiny also joining the squad, you know. So for him, I've just said he should just come. We would we'll, we'll receive him. He shouldn't come with those skirmishes. Yeah, well, you yeah. know, you know, at least he wanted you to talk about him, and then you're talking about him, you know. <laughs> so there are people who just love attention. I yeah. mean, there's nothing wrong with loving attention. Mm. We all love attention. Oh, we all do. The job we do, we love mm. attention, you know. But um. Sometimes with Tonto Decay's own, you realize it's just a bit annoying, mm. you know. Um, what's her story? I'm sure viewers are waiting to say, okay, what did she do this mm. time? Apparently, she wrote on her Twitter handle that um, she suffered a lot through life. Mm. She went through broken times, broken mm. homes, broken hearts, and had to do many out jobs to survive. Oh. 
And there's nothing wrong with, you know, you doing that. I mean, absolutely nothing wrong. Everybody has a history. Everybody has a background. Everybody has a story. But what's the difficulty in there when you're being trained? You call that difficulty? Exactly my point. Hmm. You know, and what was it meant to achieve? Exactly. So a relative of hers came and said, Your all mind. she's saying is just absolute rubbish, you know. Hmm. And that is where I seem to have a problem with her. Why do you always want to say things which are not true? Mm. And then, what, what's your motive? She's spoken, she's spoken like that. Uh. She needs 99 to... She's gotten to 99. She needs just one to add 200. <laughs> For us to see how much uh, of her... Uh, because yeah. she started from one and she's counted and now she's at 99. At 99. She needs to round it up to make it 100%. Oh Nana. my God. Ah, I all get too you. soon, time is up. Too ah. bad we have to end with her, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a more pleasant story than Don't Do the Game. You see, yeah, but we, we've exhausted our time. Oh, yes, so even have. if there's an exciting one, you still we couldn't have talked about uh, it. Keep yes. it on your chest. We'll wait till next week. <laughs> we see. miss Uncle Francis Doku. Francis Doku. Hmm. We miss him. Um, okay, I'm reserving my comments. And when you tickets. come, and my tickets, <laughs> when you come, <laughs> then I'm, I'm sure then I would have also mastered uh, the... The West is a... Yes, I would have polished them well. And they came to with him. <laughs> <laughs> Headmistress. Well, thank you so much. This mm. has been another edition of the White Carpet on Joy News and Multi TV. My name, once again, is Gladys or say a redo. I am really not happy um, that your WhatsApp messages could not come through, your contributions could not come through, but really, I, I, I know WhatsApp will do its best to, you know, Rectify. that's what technology will do to us sometimes. <laughs> but you can catch a repeat of the white carpet on Joy News on Multi TV every Sunday at 9.30 p.m. and on Hits TV on Sunday 11 and um, Wednesday 8 p.m. So um, do make a date and of course on Monday anytime, just get on to um, YouTube and you grab a copy there to watch as well. I love you all for being with us on the white carpet. Thank you so much. See you again another week.